Hey, what is going on everybody? We are in uh, Las Vegas and this is our hotel room right here. You can see we got a nice little upgrade uh, in the Venetian and this is our view out here. Look at this pool view. We can stare at all the people at the pool down here. And then nice little strip view too, so kind of a fun little uh, spot. But we're here in Vegas, the wife and I, celebrating 10 years of marriage. So. Uh, what better way to celebrate than to have the wife go get a massage and as she's getting massaged uh, I'm actually gonna meet up with my friend PJ. We're gonna go to the UN and go sneaker shopping Try to find some shoes see what I'm feeling see what I'm not and then maybe I might buy some shoes shout out to Jill Puma. All right, so uh, yeah Basically, we're just gonna go to UN and see what's going on and then hopefully we find some something for me to take home So I don't gamble all my money away Are you excited for your massage yes. and then a facial? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. Let's go. It's time to go. Spot time. Look at this, uh, look at these walls. It's the finest alligator. Finest? Flo alligator. Flown in from... Florida. I don't know, but it's pretty. Wow. All right, you're gonna have fun doing this, and I'm gonna go buy some shoes. This is fancy. It looks. This is silly looking. All right, there we go. She wrote hundred dollars. So I'm still in Vegas right now. I'm in my room in the Venetian 
And uh, I wanted to show you my pickups that I ended up buying from the UN. Uh, it was fun uh, catching up with uh, Jay and Joni. And I went there with my buddy PJ, so shout out to him for driving me around Vegas for a little bit. But I ended up buying two things here from the UN. One, something that probably nobody even knows about or cares about. Two, I think this is the one that's more hyped up and just one that I was kind of interested in buying. It looks like I got some little chocolate goodies from the wind. My wife ended up getting a massage over there. Cost probably as much as one or more of these sneakers. Uh, and this is what we have to show for it. Anyways, let's go ahead and show you guys the shoes. These are what I picked up. I ended up buying a pair of these because honestly, it's a shoe that I really regret not having. And I really wanted my hands on a pair of the Travis Scott 4. So this is what I spent my money on. Uh, I figured it was a good investment to buy a pair of these instead of basically using the money and gambling most of it because I usually go pretty hard when I gamble. So uh, this is just one of those shoes that I like. Actually, I like this one, uh, I'm gonna be 100%, I like this one second best out of the Travis Scott line, at least from the Jordans. Obviously there's the highs and the lows. Personally, I like the highs the best. I know they're the most hyped up, but I love that colorway, the browns and the cream and, and the white and stuff. This colorway is so dope though, and it's so different than a lot of the Air Jordan 4s that we've seen. The prices of these have gone up crazy amounts. So. It's pretty wild. I feel like this is gonna be one of those shoes that's gonna be $1,000, $1,500 though, just because it is such a dope colorway. Um, and even though there's a good amount of them out there, I just feel like a lot of people uh, want this shoe, especially with all of the resurgence of Travis Scott hype right now with the ones and the one lows. So this was one of the purchases. The other one that I bought, Pinkbox Nikes. Uh, I was stoked that they had these in my size, actually. I actually looked through twice and didn't see them. Third time I looked through, I caught my eye on these and then I made the purchase. So these are the Oompa Loompa Dunks. And if you've seen the movie, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, you know what Oompa Loompas are. But I love the coloring on these, the burnt orange and the white and the brown, green, and obviously a dope theme. Comes with a lace bag even. I mean, honestly, I was stoked to be able to find a pair in this good of shape for the price. Price point was actually pretty decent on these uh, as well. So I bought these two pairs of shoes, spent $1,100 at the UN to be able to buy these two. But uh, I think it was well worth it and it was a fun trip to be able to go and check out the new store. I've never seen it actually. It was my first time seeing the new store in the giant, giant mall that uh, is in Las Vegas. I went into the store with a thousand dollar budget thinking I would spend a thousand dollars on one shoe depending on what it was. And I ended up buying two shoes for 11. So I'm happy with the results of these. And again, just something that maybe some of you guys like this one, um, maybe uh, nobody likes these ones, but that's why uh, it's fun just doing the sneaker stuff and you know We all have different likes and dislikes and stuff and this is why uh, I picked out what I did Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and notification bell to Be notified of when the videos go live and have a great rest of your day I'm gonna enjoy a little bit more Vegas. Hopefully I don't lose all my money gambling the rest of my money at least. Peace guys